listen to y'all. Let's just be a lesson to y'all. Don't cheat on your nigga. And this bad shit happen. Pan over. Pan right. Pan right. That's what happens. I'm trying to tell you. Now I'm gonna be honest, you gotta really admire the way this guy is acting in front of his girl. Deep down, obviously he cares, but he's trying to give off the feeling that he doesn't and it's not bothering him. If you were to ever get cheated on, make sure you act like this because, well, they hate it so much. What's the best way to get a free drink at the bar? Turn your ring around and hide the diamonds. I mean, coming from the bride herself, she must know the vibes. I like this. Hide it. It's gone. It works. I'm sure her husband's really happy to hear that one. It's these kind of TikToks that I'm not even sure why they're posted because it's just horrible advice to women. And proof is that anytime your girl goes out to the bar or the club, she's probably not being loyal. Not joking. I have asked the last three dudes I've dated for their bank account info on the first date. I don't judge people's actions. I look at the intention behind it. So like, why do you ask for that? Because I only want to date a wealthy guy that has money. Valid, so you're getting straight to the point. I think, you know, I have a job. I'm very successful. So I think I have every right to be like, hi, are we on the same level or where am I wasting time? Now, obviously after that clip got a lot of attention, she decided to make this video about it. Was it deranged and out of pocket? Maybe. But was it real as fuck? ab so now, once again, I'm not sure why creators like her are trying to give women advice. They're trying to make it seem like the relationship is only about money and what you can get provided for. There's literally nothing about love that she's asking for. <laughs> Sometimes a man will literally do anything to make a woman happy, including breaking his back. Now, like I said, going to the club is absolutely stupid. That also goes for men and women. If you're in a relationship, just stay out of the club and the bar in general, in my opinion. How you doing? How are you? Wow, you are gorgeous. Thank you. You look good too. Yeah, so, where are we eating? I wasn't going to tell you. It's a surprise. Okay. Nice I mean, man. it better be five-star and up, so... Five-star? Dang. It's what like that? Mean? You don't like Applebee's or nothing? I mean, I'm not saying I'm taking you there, but... Yeah. Um, I'm not giving Applebee's, honey. Damn. Oh, you bougie. We should have just met wherever you wanted to eat at. You know what I'm saying? You got a car? No, what? Dude, no. That's weird. You bougie for a girl with no car. Excuse you? I'm saying, so where you want to go? I mean... Like I said, five star, five star and up, mm. Michelin star. Come on now. I respect First date, show it. up. Show up. I like that. Ah, oh, my freaking tire. What? I think my tire flat. Uh, uh, uh I can't leave with no guy that got that car me? together. Oh, I'm sorry about that, man. Can you check what that for you me, mean? please? What do I look like by the bed? No. Oh my God. Damn, my bad. This is exactly why I've been dealing with y'all. Nah, no, that's yeah. a fact. She obviously just wanted to go on this day so she could just take a picture, post it on her story, and make it seem like she's living some lavish lifestyle, but in reality, she's just trying to use men for it. The guy did the right thing and he picked up the red flags immediately. Live in a world where you can't tell your girl to cover her asshole when she's out there on a surfboard, that's abusive. To be like, yo, cover your asshole when you're surfing with men. That's abuse, that's toxic. We didn't, we say it's not abuse. It's toxic? You say it's toxic. toxic. yeah. You gay. <laughs> If you're a man and you say any other man's toxic, you're gay. <laughs> you're gay. You're gay. You the you the title. You're gay. You're the, wait, 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 wait. Okay, if Usher wanna sing to your girl, Ooh. and you if Usher wanna sing to your girl, yeah, and yeah, it's yeah. just singing, yeah. it's just singing. Yeah. You cool with that? Just singing, yeah. S they first is singing, then then you add them 22. You know what I mean? like, it was really clips like these that just made me so happy that dudes are still dudes. We're still men out there. Not every single man is brainwashed with the fact that they're gonna allow their girl to dress up however she wants. And no, it's not insecure. It's just respect. For in a relationship, would you ever uh, allow your man to have a say in what you wear if you were wearing something provocative? Yes, but I I don't think that if I'm wearing something, I wouldn't wear something overly provocative. Provoc if I was in a relationship. Okay. Can you explain why? Because it's disrespectful. Because why would I wear something that's gonna show off for other men if I'm with mine? You know what I mean? No, 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 like, like why? These people go. On. Obviously, I wanted to show that clip as well to let everybody know that not every single woman is brainwashed into thinking that they can dress however they want and their man won't get affected. Clearly, this woman knows what it's about, and she's gonna be a great wife in the future, most likely. Ooh. You're pretty. You're amazing. I swear to God, you're so pretty. I'm transsexual. Got him. We fucking got him. Am I gato? Am I gato for that? Am I gato for that? How I'm posting no. now, bro? It's sometimes it's so scary. Like you really cannot tell the difference. They're getting pretty good at it. I'm not lying. Oh. 
What up? What you got going on? Nothing trying to figure out how I'm going to pay this power bill. Shh. Keep telling me something. Once again, back to my point, the women nowadays are just dating men to what they can get provided for and not really caring about the love or relationship aspect at all. Now, thanks, Susan. Yo, I, I'm sorry, sir. I just want to say I think you're cute. I was wondering if I can get your Snapchat. No, no, no. Uh, is there a reason? Just... No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. Now, don't get me wrong, she definitely got rejected, but at least she shot her shot. I feel like if you guys do like someone or find someone attractive, shoot your shot, don't listen to these videos. It may be discouraging, but who cares? You have no idea what that can turn into. Check my oil without being bombarded. Car good? Your car all right? Yeah, it's just oil. She's just doing it for her attention. She's literally just putting her tripod on the floor, waiting for men to approach her, I guess help her out with her car, which is perfectly fine to do. They're trying to help you out. And I guess you're making a big deal about it, trying to show that you're getting harassed when you're not. You're just doing this for attention. Oh, I'm in my fucking house. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Oh, you want to know where I'm at? Right <laughs> we outside. Bruh, I'm fucking home. And you want to fucking play games? Then fucking keep playing games. I'm fucking home. It really be the girl's best friend that are like preying on their downfalls. If your friend group acts like this towards your man or towards your relationship, understand they don't respect you and they want you to break up with them immediately. And don't surround yourself with these kind of people. So I'm currently going through like the worst breakup imaginable. <laughs> and he's all I can think about like, I love him so much. Like that was, <laughs> I miss. <laughs> Why are you going on TikTok to cry about your problems? You're just begging for attention at this point. What still doing in America? Like, this could be 5.30 on a Thursday night for you if you just book a freaking flight. Book a freaking flight. Do you know a freaking flight costs two freaking ten thousand? You feel me? Two freaking thousand dollars. I guess bottom rule is just don't compare yourself to people on social media. You have no idea. Everybody is living a different life and majority of people don't live it this good. 15 minutes for me, what would you do? Well, you know, uh, I'd have to think about uh, certain things, you know, certain factors like speed of sound and, and light. You know, light is a lot faster than sound. And so that would would be depending on what dimension I'm in and uh, relative relative to where we are. But I'm not sure where I'm at. And uh, I don't know what we're talking about, but uh, I think you're making me very nervous. You're a little too young for me. I have to go. I am bam. She's literally trying to ruin this man's reputation all over the internet. God knows where he works. God knows what kind of profession he has, what kind of family he has. And she's trying to embarrass him on social media, which is never a good thing. Thankfully, he has a smart mouth and he never said anything incorrectly. I don't know. I'm, I'm newly single too. So. Like, long term, I'm out to. Um, you, you like it. I like your swag and stuff. What's your name? Gio, Gio. Gio, oh, my name is Golden. That's two Gs. I like that. Okay, she's sussy good. What you feel? What you feel? You perfect match? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No. So what, what was it? Hey, what, what was it? Um, no, I, she looked good, I ain't gonna lie. I like your eyes too, she like that, but... I don't know, I'm a pal. Yeah. You have to admit that that was a pretty decent rejection. He was not trying to make her sad, not trying to make it about her and make her feel bad. He just didn't want to break her heart. And in my opinion, that's the best you can really do. I got brutally humbled while talking about Tinder with this guy because he was saying, oh, it must be so easy for girls on Tinder. It must be like match, match, match. And to be nice, I was like, no, it's not like that for girls. And he said, oh, the girls I'm talking about, they're like hot. Now that, that, that's a bad rejection. Don't do that. Why did you just break my phone? What were you thinking? Oh my God. I wasn't texting other girls. Are you crying? What are you crying? Breaking someone's phone for thinking that they're texting somebody else is absolutely insane. But leave your comments down below what you guys think about that last clip. Mine. She's minding hers. Oh my God, oh. Tor! Oh. <laughs> 
know he left the game. No, let go of me. I can do it myself. You like girls' drinks at the bars? Yes. Really? Yes. How many are we talking in a, in a weekend? Like a weekend? Well, I'll buy a hundred shots if I have to. Did this man really say a hundred shots? For what? Just to pull a girl and bring her back home? I'm sorry, this man is just a simp and he's getting played by all of these women. All right, my truck's been making this really weird noise. Like I can't hear it when I'm out here. I can only hear it when I'm in the truck and I'm driving. Are you seriously on TikTok right now? I'm unbelievable. I mean, see, now I can't hear it. I think I like you more than a friend. What? Yeah. No. This <laughs> fucking right. Holy fuck. Ew. Oh my I know. god. What the fuck? I literally. That was so fucking funny. <laughs> Sorry. Right. I knew you'd react like that. That's why I said Jesus it. Jesus Christ. I thought you were more like a brother to me. Like, imagine we kiss. Oh. Oh my god. No. Ew. <laughs> Sorry. I Never just, say that I know. again. That's I know. so gross. Yeah. Fuck. Anyways, scared me with that one. <laughs> Abort mission. This guy honestly just needs to let go of her. If she just friend zoned him like that, the only other option is he needs to leave because him staying in that relationship is not going to slowly change her mind. It's actually going to make her just put him in the friend zone even more. Talking stage with you two. How do you feel about her seeing other guys? I wouldn't be opposed to that. I wouldn't be opposed to... <laughs> I wouldn't be opposed to her seeing other guys because if you find what you like, you gotta, you know, you gotta get that. If I'm lacking in a certain area, I would want you to have that, so. I am speechless. This man does not have any jealousy in his body and he's obviously a simp because he doesn't want to turn off his girl by seeming insecure in front of her. No man in their right mind would ever give this kind of answer because no man is comfortable with their girl talking to other men. Otherwise, in my opinion, you're not a man. Anyone? No, no, I'm just talking to people. Oh, how many? I can't count. Okay, well, you got a favorite? Two favorites, yeah. Oh, so what's that from apart? Well, they're both friends, but one, no. Oh. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. I can't get too personal. Um, yeah, you might want to protect yourself a little yes. bit. Yes. Don't start no shit. To be honest, she is one of the few people I see on TikTok that actually watches what she says. Because usually when a girl see a camera and a guy with the mic, they just start spilling their entire lives on camera. So I'm not going to lie. Even though what she's doing is bad, at least she stopped herself from saying everything. I'm so excited to finally meet him. Hey. Listen. Yeah, Kendra? We have 360. Okay. Whoa, what the? Oh my god. Women gotta stop catfishing. I have no idea what else to say. You can't blame the guy. Sir, uh, I just need a little to fill this up. Can you help me out with this? No? Sir, you mind helping me with this? Yeah, sure. Sir, I'm Alex with ABC. What would you do? You just won a free Tesla. Go get the car. Yeah, go get the car. Aye, aye. Go get the car. Yes, and you all should pay trip to Hawaii. Oahu, Hawaii. Yeah. I am praying that this is some kind of prank that they're just pulling in public. But if this is honestly real, they're going to have a huge argument when they go back home. What's your name, baby? Are you single? Yeah. Oh, when you broke up. Oh, shit. Knock, knock. Who's there? Not your boyfriend. <laughs> G hasn't had a job. When I ask him what he's going to do for a career, he just looks at me and says, baby, I'm Batman. Just because I don't get paid doesn't make it not a job. I would get a real nine to five job if they let me be Goosewing. Maybe like a sign spinner, or like a mascot. Batman is not a real job. Batman is a fictional character. Now listen, I'm all for guys, you know, pursuing their passion and what they love and, and their women backing them up on their passions. But this, this is just weird. I really do hope this is just a fake prank to get on Dr. Phil. Otherwise, I'm not going to lie. This woman needs to leave him. <laughs> Want your house clean? Hire me a maid. What? 
I agree with Sister Amira. I agree. I'll hire the maid and I'll marry the maid. Oh. I'll marry the maid. <laughs> okay. So you know, you know, because I, I'll hire her and marry her. Now, did he take things too far? Absolutely not. I mean, if he's bringing home the bread, if he's providing and protecting for her, she has to do her duty as a wife as well, which is her part, which would be an additional house cooking and cleaning. Trophy wives don't exist where they don't do nothing at all. I'm sorry. Everybody has to pull their own kind of way. How would you feel if one of us had an ex-partner tattooed on us, like their name? I'm sure like the partners kind of feel a little weird about someone else's name being on their skin, no? I don't feel insecure. Like give me an example, what was that guy's name? Ben. Ben, like if, if you had Ben tattooed on you somewhere? Yes. I will just add a D and an over to it. Ben. And, then, and then it would be like a whole new tattoo. It'd be like fun. <laughs> You're clear. He's clever. Ooh. Ooh. That was decently smooth, but let's just all be honest here. If a girl actually has a tattoo of another man's name, she's probably a red flag. Don't get any tattoos of anybody's names ever. Thank you. Okay, please. Okay, okay. Ew, that was just weird. What are you doing kissing a guy like that? Imagine if the roles were switched. Come on now. You know, just what our movement's all about. But it's more than just Gen Z's falling for conspiracy theories. Why? Well, <coughs> yeah, right. I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Well, we hope you're okay. Why don't we give you some time to collect yourself? If you need help, let us know in the control room there. And, uh... There is nothing wrong with having an OnlyFans account. There is nothing wrong with taking for free. There is nothing wrong with being any way you want to be, whether it is as an occupation or if it is to just send a around like I do all the time. She is definitely coping with her horrible past because she just stated things that she has done herself and she's trying to, I guess, come up with excuses and trying to make it seem like what she's doing is okay when in reality, she knows it's not. Um, you, it don't matter who, who, who I am. Where's Mike at? He ain't here, but you ain't gotta do all Tell his ass come outside. I'm not trying to talk to you. I'm not trying to talk to you. I'm, I don't give a fuck whose house it is. Like I said, bring your ass out here. Come on, let's go. You done with him. Bitch, you ain't never have him to be done with him. Fuck is you talking about? Um, GPS. What, I, I thought you was at work. You at this bitch house? Is you serious? Let's go. You ain't coming with me. You better leave. You better stay here with this bitch. You came looking for Come on, y'all doing so go something. You must man. care the way your ass came outside. Man, come on, man. Come on, man. Let's just go, man. Let's I will never understand women like this where they actually catch their man cheating on them, yet they're still fighting for them, even though their man is making it pretty clear that they're not in love with them anymore. At this point, you're giving your man every excuse to keep cheating on you because clearly you're not leaving or doing anything about it. I know, I just need someone to cyanide me. I was hoping you guys could sing something to me. <laughs> Number four, please. You keep mine a little short and sweet. So. Okay. I don't know your name, but excuse me, miss. I want to have sex with you. Oh, I you got me. <laughs> when boys are like, I'd never date a girl with an OnlyFans. I'd never do that. Would a girl with an OnlyFans date you, though? Would she? She got us. I mean, wow. That was a very valid point. Like, we want them to choose us anyways. Trust me, we don't. Yeah, yeah, she is. Wait, like, what if my, like... Then literally no one would flinch. They'd be like, tell that little boy to put his shirt back on. What did he say? You're a chubby man. Yeah, lol a little. Hit the gym. Men should be in shape. So I'll see you there? Are you calling me fat? You shouldn't comment on a woman's weight. I'm not fat. I'm Kirby. I'm going to report you. You're going down. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. Double standards are crazy nowadays. Once again, this just exploits it. Yeah, I'm sick and tired of women thinking that they can bash men for their height, but in reality, the moment you bring up a woman's weight, it's like hell on earth. I really do hope those nails are just, you know, for show and trying to make a quick TikTok. Because if those are real, I don't know how she wipes her ass. Are you heading to the store? Yeah. Why don't you pick up some of those pills that'll help you get it up? Oh, okay. Yeah. Back from the store? Yep, there you go. But these are diet pills. Exactly. She's lovely, ain't she? She's a good mom and I love her so much. 
Now guys, I had to add a sweet clip in there. That was just adorable. Some cute mother and son bonding time. I have to say that in media, women get paid the same. Why don't Bollywood actresses get paid the same as Bollywood actors? You know, in Bollywood... Karina, do you agree with me? Absolutely. But Rani? There is a really I'm quality, all but... there with you, Sonia, right now. <laughs> now we're ganging up on you, Amit. No, please do. Like, I, you're the entire society has to mm. change the way they think. No, Bollywood please do. I have a very good answer for that, actually. Your fee is, is uh, connected to your... Ability to fill the theatre. Yes, heroines work very hard, but so do cameramen. So do uh, the light boys on the set. All of us should be paid equally. Now, Everyone works hard. I'm comparing the heroine with the light boy. No, no. <laughs> I'm ca comparing the heroine and the light boy and myself in okay. the same. So okay. I'm not saying heroine and light boy. I'm saying all of us are working hard. If I am paid 10 rupees, it's because I can bring back that money and more. If Rani can fill in more seats than I can, 101% she'll be paid more than me. So it's got nothing to do with your sex as a female or a male. It is your ability to pull people in. Now this man is really trying to break down this concept like he's talking to kids. It's not that difficult to understand. If you can't bring in more money, you're not going to get paid more money because you're a woman. That's not how businesses or economies function. I'm sorry. It's definitely her fault. She got back to the car and heard my mom. And it was like, yeah, like it was his fault the whole time I watched the thing. I'm like, you hit it out of his hand though. Like, like now you like, you had me hot at this dude. And now, and now I see the video. It's like, you feel me? So. Friends, bro. Nah, you're my friend. You like what, bro? Tell me my pussy stay. Now come smell this pussy for your damn self. <laughs> Yo, I'm, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yo, that's easily, easily the biggest fear for men. I'm being so serious. My friends have horror stories of this. Babe. Babe. Oh my god. No, I don't uh, like uh, Babe, no, look what you've done. Babe. No, 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 no. Bro. Bro. Listen, loyalty tests are necessary regardless if you guys disagree with these clips or not. Obviously, we've seen so many loyalty tests where they go completely wrong. But if you guys are ever thinking of popping the big question to a girl you guys are interested in, I would say has this ever done to you. She kept me around while she was another nigga, Some sad. How do you know that? I found out. I went through her phone. She was telling me like I ain't one other dudes. This is a whole bunch of bullshit. Damn. Once again, I guess this is just my advice to everyone that you should be checking your spouse's phone. A lot of couples will make the excuse, oh, if you don't trust me, just leave me. There's no reason of being with someone if you don't trust them. However, trust is earned, it's not given. And if your spouse is acting a bit too suspicious, you have the right to go through it, in my opinion. In that moment right now. I already got my money, so I don't give a Leave, nah, you can leave. I ain't tripping on all the $60, ain't about nothing. I'm just saying, like, I ain't never did this before. So you a virgin? I ain't no virgin, I ain't none of that. Like, I don't know, man. Matter of fact, my girl might be outside filing me or something. I don't know. You've been, you starting to scare me. Scare you? You've been stalling. Uh, she you out there. You need to be scared. I ain't stalling. Is you the feds? I'm you far from it. Far from it. God damn. Like, man, that, you that's. You want or not? Come on. Let you me, know let what? Me see, let me check to see if you the feds. What you do? Do what you do. Yeah. Ain't none of that. Check, man. Now you know what? Let me, let me find my. Please find something. Let me get this out of the way. What have you been here before? I don't fall from that. God damn. What the f you doing? Hold on, wait. Chill out. I'm about to partner. Your partner? Yeah. Uh, this ain't, we not doing no f***ing. We ain't pay for all that. Where am I, Issa? So that's what we're doing? Where you going? Why you going? That's what we're doing? Yo, that was a brilliant setup. She was worried about him being the feds, but didn't even think about him be connected to her husband. How do you care more about the feds than your own husband catching you? But she completely had that coming to her, to be honest. Just want a boyfriend that will be giving me 70% out of his daily income. But your Twitter name is Miss Independent? Gotcha. <laughs> no, 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 no,
<laughs> so there's not that much context in the video, but basically she was trying to flirt with the man behind her until she saw the wife right next to him. And let's just say the wife was not having it at all. Who has made you cry the most? Who has the nicest body? Who is the funniest? Who does your mom like the most? Who has cheated on you? Come on now, I don't understand this trend, but I guess it just goes to show that once again, when a woman knows a lot of guys in her past or just a huge body count, she is comparing you to them 1 million percent. Once again, another reason why men like women with no baggage and no past connected to them. The pure, the better. Are you cheating on me? Uh, it's not what it looks like. I'm leaving. No, wait. What? Why don't you come and join us? I'm leaving. You're saying something useful. Look what, look what she did to my car, man. Look what this bitch did to my car. I can't stand this bitch. Now, I'm not really sure what that is. I think it looks like food, but if you're a car guy, let me know in the comments. Sensational. Now, in my opinion, I feel like this is so much better. At least the connection is more genuine. And guys don't have to worry about, oh, this girl's probably using me for a free date or for a fun time. And then probably gonna ghost me right after. Call me on, baby. She about to call me. Right. 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 Try right. Watch this, watch this, watch this. <laughs> hey, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. Watch this. Yo. Hey. What's good with you? What's up? What are you calling me for? Uh, you never been calling me, so I just wanted to check in with you. He's out there be calling you blah, blah, blah. You never want to hang out type of stuff. You be trying to talk about some, you a homebody, you a homebody. Like, what's good with that? Like, what if, I'm trying, what if I'm trying to get you out of the house? What if I'm trying to link with you? You didn't say that. I'm trying to link with you. All right, bet. Tell me when. Right now. Right now? Right now. I mean, I'm down. Bet. All right, I'll pull up. All right, I'll pull up on you like right now then. All right, bet. Tell All right. me here. All right, bet. I'm going to see you. All right, bet. I feel like every single friend needs a friend group like this. Just that friend group that hypes the man up to give him confidence. And clearly look what confidence can do. I feel like if his friends weren't around him, he wouldn't have done that. He's probably, I'm sorry. Can you stop breathing so loud, honey? He's like, <laughs> breathe quietly. For... Do you hear yourself breathing? <sighs> oh, that's just gross. Does anyone hear him breathing? I'm sorry for breathing. What's wrong with her? Why is she complaining so much? She's just nagging. This poor guy's probably suffering for years. I feel bad for him. Now, don't get me wrong, you guys are not gonna like this take, but I understand where he's coming from. However, just acting mopey and sad around, I guess, other people is never a good thing. Always be confident, even if you don't think you're attractive. It still does you better than not. So you all trust each other 100%? Yes. May we test the theory? Sure. sure. Y'all two swap phones. Who is Pat? Pat is a U.S. soldier and located in... Yeah, I talk. Sometimes. Q stuff. This was today. Yeah. Who is Elijah? Elijah is. Bless <laughs> <laughs> you. No. 
that man's face at the end absolutely breaks me. You can definitely tell that he has no other options going for him. At this point, it's literally this relationship and that's it. They're an older couple. This guy's probably around like 35, 40. Moving on after this relationship is going to be so tough. And it's absolutely sad that people even at this age will still cheat. How short is too short in a guy? Six foot, six three. Anything under six foot. I'm six foot two, but I got to be real with y'all. Height is not a fucking personality. The percentage of men in the United States alone that is uh, six foot or over is like barely 15%. And that's six foot two or taller is like barely 3.9%. This is all men of all age ranges, all walks of life. So ladies, you've got to ask yourself, what is the likelihood you're going to find a guy that's with in a position in life that you want to date that's going to be that height, that's going to be available, that's not already taken and you're attracted to? I mean, like, come on. Now I'm going to take this up further and even say that there were studies done on this that showed that usually the shorter the man is, the more he actually has to make regarding income. The study proved that I think like a 5'8 dude had to make around $300,000 in order to compete with a guy that's 6'2 that makes absolutely nothing now obviously us men we can't change that we can't fight for that and it's just something we just have to deal with and come to an agreement to you have a passport yes i do okay and have you been outside the u.s yes i have why don't americans travel outside the u.s because they're stupid <laughs> do you know what the women in the dr will do for you <laughs> I, seriously do you know what would they do bro i went there with my father because like i'm like damn damn why do you keep running down here i thought you was doing something illegal the reason why you have a passport is for the women in the dominican republic well plus i want to see other parts of the country in the exactly. world exactly i heard that the women in london in england and france do things american women would never think about <laughs> oh, shit. Now, a lot of people are always saying passport bros are the wave marrying someone outside the country is definitely the best route because they are more traditional now in my opinion that's also true however she can also be using you deep down in order to just come to this country you really never know but let me know what you guys thoughts are on it down below i'm kind of iffy about it what is the biggest ick for a guy when he has a birthday when he has a birthday. Yes, if he celebrates his birthday. <laughs> <laughs> This is a red flag and I guess goes to show that social media is the worst thing ever. If your girl is constantly posting on social media, she is not posting for you, she is posting for someone else's attention. What are you doing? Why'd you My girlfriend of mine's gonna open up her own door to see how to get this for you. Oh Here you my go. god. Ladies Here first, you go. after you. That's dumb. That's not funny. Hmm? That's not funny. Yeah, let me That's help you out. Oh my a, god. I was no. being a, Sorry, I was being a gentleman. I'm gonna have a bruise right here. I need to change those to see him. That's not funny. Look at my chapstick. I was just trying to be a gentleman. That's not a gentleman. That's not a funny prank. That's not a funny joke. She has every single right to be mad at him. I don't even know why he continued to record. I feel so bad for her. For you to go through your significant other's phone if you suspect them of cheating. Yes. Well, that's, that's not my girl, so yes, know, it's fine. We'll get right back. <laughs> You're not together. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all are holding hands right now, so what's up with that? Shit, hey, this how it is. You feel me? Look. Ooh. I like what I like. She like what she like. Hey, fair enough. We got, we got different, we got different paths. Hey, guys, listen to me. Guys, listen to me. They're still in the puppy phase, all right? Wait two months, no, and you're going to be asking for his phone. I told him wait two years, and then we can Ooh. talk about it. Two, nah, wait two years? Talk about what? Dating. Hey, are y'all smashing? No cap. Dating, baby. I'm a baby. Two months. No, two months. Oh I drive from Austin every weekend just to see him. Y'all are dating. Y'all are dating. Yes. Y'all are dating. We're dating. Hey, is she driving? From Austin, from here, you from here, y'all are dating. Now, I will never understand situationships. You either are together or you aren't. At the end of the day, someone's going to be heartbroken and someone's catching feelings. And someone wants to be in that relationship and then just one person stopping it. If you are that person, understand that you probably should not be with them. They're just going to break your heart and they're just wasting your time, in my opinion. Hey. You want to share a secret with me and Mayno? Yes. Okay, we're listening. So I have nine children. Um, by different fathers. I only know who three of their fathers are. Mm. You don't yeah. know who three of the fathers are? That's what you said? I only know. She who only knows three of the fathers. Are. So all nine children have nine different fathers. Mm, I, I would think those three have the same one. Okay, so the so three of the kids have the same father, but six of them have different fathers. Yes. Okay, so um, is, this is a secret. No one knows this? No. So who do people think the other um, six children's, who the father is? 
whoever I tell them to. Oh, oh God! So what? You, okay. Dual DNA test. In my opinion, she is probably like ripping one of these dads up, saying, "Yo, this is your son. This is your daughter. Pay child support." The only way to avoid this is obviously just doing a bunch of DNA tests, seeing who the father really is. And I'm surprised none of those fathers actually did that, due to the fact that there's two other guys in the equation. I've never heard of a woman be in the streets this badly. To be honest, I feel so bad for those kids. Hi. Thank you for giving me this drink. You are pretty cute. <laughs> Did he just close that? Are you kidding me? What? Dude, he's so rude. I'm so embarrassed. He's so rude. I'm so embarrassed. I don't know why people do this weird stuff on the internet. Do you think this is gonna get millions of views and someone's gonna be clapping and crying at the drive through No, bro, it's a drive through Hurry your ass up and just move to the next person. Okay, to act like a husband in a boyfriend stage, but you don't feel as though you need to act like a wife in a girlfriend stage until somebody chooses to make you a wife. Make it make sense. If you never displayed qualities of being a wife, why would anybody want to make you one? Like We feel like we just have to offer minimal effort and that should be significant enough. That and the cat should just have it in the bag. I don't know about y'all, but if I'm choosing to be in a relationship, I'm in it to win it. Do you want dinner, baby? Massage, baby? Baby, what do you need? Y'all are literally admitting to doing half and then wondering why you still are not a wife and they got the audacity to be complaining about why Suzanne's a wife before you you haven't showed anything you're doing what any other do stand out she's absolutely correct and to be honest I really do think a part of the reason is because there's a bunch of single women who are just spiteful towards men and who are giving advice towards other single women pretty much keeping them all single and as side chicks saying things like use men make sure you're talking to seven guys at once make sure you run his pockets if he's not loaded don't be with him and for some other reason, they think they're the prize that they don't have to put in any energy or effort. But in reality, no man is going to marry a woman like that. We want to see the wife side first before we even get to take that chance. Man, asked me if I wanted to run errands with him. How weird that this guy thinks that I want to pick up laundry detergent with him. And I realized they're leveling up. This is the new way that men are like playing house to get women. Before it was... I just want to sit back and have a glass of wine and watch a movie together. And now it's let's get coffee and run errands. This is exactly what I mean compared to the last clip. Why can't you do those things? As a wife, you're going to do that in the future anyways, but you don't want to do it on a date? Like it just comes off super bad. How long have you guys been together? 10 years, more than 10 years. How did you bag her? How did I bag her? <laughs> I got her a bag. <laughs> oh. <laughs> kind of bag. <laughs> Chanel! Chanel. <laughs> This is my natural game. What did you do? I can't talk about that on the radio. Bro. <laughs> do you allow your partner to have guy friends? Not as of a couple days ago. Shut your <laughs> ass up! <laughs> do you? No, yes, he does. And do you allow your man to have girlfriends? Yeah, as long as they're fat and ugly. <laughs> are you guys married? Yeah, we are. Okay, okay, okay. How much did you drop on the engagement ring? Fat! Fat! Three times his salary. <laughs> Wow. This is not a marriage or a relationship in my opinion. It's just a business transaction. This guy is getting something from her, which is, I guess, her looks and her body. And this woman is getting his money. Do I think they're madly in love? Absolutely not. Because the moment this guy goes broke, she is leaving as well. And she's not going to be waiting until he gets his money up. She's going to move on to the next. Still from 1 to 10, but first, take a good look. I'm going to say hard four. What? That's kind of low. What could be better? Well, your foundation doesn't match your neck. Uh, you got fake and your eyes are kind of spread far apart. How do you know they're fake? Uh, just by the whole overall body size. That does not match up. That was kind of rude. Um, thank you. Dude, sometimes I watch these clips and I'm like, man, that guy's being a bit too mean. But in my opinion, this girl's just doing this for clicks and views on TikTok to show off her OnlyFans page. So if you are being rude to them, to be honest, it doesn't matter. They really don't care. They'll take it as more views. What's the worst type of car a guy can drive? Honda. Why a Honda? My ex owns a Honda dealership. Uh, <laughs> okay, since you're twerking, kiss, <laughs> kiss or slap? <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't. <laughs> You're too old for me, too old. Oh, you guys thought only women were doing these kind of stupid trends? No, there's also men doing it, which is just even more cringe in my opinion. My dress? Your flat lipstick and you look kind of fat. Where, where's, what is the thing that I put on my cheek and then you wipe off? Blush. Where is it? I look kind oh, of fat or I look it? really fat? Really fat. Was it this one? Yeah. 
A, they always say if you want an honest answer, ask a child because that child will be so blunt with you and they won't care to hurt your feelings. And get paid less than men. Um, maybe women aren't acting as they should. Maybe they're acting weird so people think that they shouldn't be treated as fairly as men would be. Damn. I don't think that women make less money than men. Because men work harder. Harder in like real estate and other jobs. How do you know that? Because my dad's a real estate agent. Have you ever seen a female real estate agent? Uh, yes, I've seen a couple. And you think they don't work as hard? I think they slouch. Now the question does come up, how do these kids come up with these answers? I don't think their parents are influencing them to think this way. I think they're actually seeing it with their own eyes. And for them to come up with it at that age, you know it's not biased. Damn, boo, I know these pants are in style right now, but gosh dang, they're just not sexy. Damn. My eyebrows look good. Is he? Yeah. Are you texting your boyfriend? No, I have 50 million boyfriends. Let me draw. I'm a what? A uh hoe? -huh. What? That's a like I said, you gotta watch out what you say around these kids. They do not care about hurting your feelings. All right, girl. I'm gonna show you how to change the tire, because you don't need a man in your life. Yeah. No se creyendo creyendo que you need a man in your life, eh? Yeah, I, yeah, Dad. I need a, I need a man. Why do you need a man? I'm gonna show you, so you won't need one. I need one, and I want one. <laughs> He's trying to show you something. Good job, my brother. We rocking with you. Once again, like I said, do you think these kids are coming up with these answers on their own or are their parents telling them these things? I definitely think this is just a natural feeling. But nowadays, we have women on the internet spewing garbage saying you don't need a man. Work a job. Use men up. Be an independent woman. But at the end of the day, that's all BS compared to what this is. Now that we've established that you're single and wealthy and looking, do you want to come back to my place, Mark? Uh, no. We never got around to go on a date because every single day he would text me, hey, or hello. After a while, I got annoyed, so I kind of told him, hey, by the way, you know, what's your deal? Because you keep texting me those one word and you keep saying the same hey every day. So instead of responding, like the very next day, he texts me, hola, just to mix it up a little. <laughs> so I felt like... probably paying attention but at the same time that's really not the point the point is like every single day you're texting me hey not like hey would you like to go on a coffee would you like to meet up nothing just hey so at some point i'm just asking because this happens like a lot these days i don't know what's the text messaging business now huh? now, i don't mean to be that guy but there are some men out there that just don't like texting i know a bunch of my friends who suck at texting but are great in person maybe that's the kind of guy you're talking to you have no idea some people don't talk at all until the date even happens once again it just really depends on the person you're talking to oh you know what the is worse than heartbreak when a loyal simp just moved on what the f no because you need to come back here right now what did i do wrong did i give you the end? a round of applause for that guy finally a man who actually understood his value and realized he was not getting any respect from this woman so he left don't get me wrong it does take some time for most guys stop being a simp and get out of that phase immediately <laughs> Let's do the next Get one. Out. There's always that one dude at the party that just acts super weird. No one invites him, he just randomly shows up, and he just tries getting cheeks when he knows he can. Oh! You're a victim! Mm. Someone that's very, very young and goes into a marriage and has kids when they're like 18, 19, 20. A year into the relationship, it gets really, really abusive. Even though it might be rare from what you guys think, it is. Uh, if it would happen, what would you recommend for those people? Would they divorce or do you want them to keep going in the relationship? Keep going. You can't divorce. That's not a real thing. Even though it might be like physically yeah, abusive? Because you got to endure. People are too... You want to stick in the relationship? People are just... See, I mean, look, people I'm, nowadays I'm gonna be are just... For situation. anyone that might be in that situation, what would you recommend? Okay, you you're you I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll tell you what, you're. it is such an extreme example that I can't give a prescription for what other people should do. Jesus. What about if two people Sorry. get married, Sorry. they have a kid, and then the wife starts cheating? Do you think they should divorce? Yes. 
Jesus himself said in, in cases of adultery, divorce is So you think that divorce is worse than physical abuse? No. For the children? For cheating, sorry. You think that cheating is worse than physical abuse? abuse. For the sorry. children, yes. Absolutely I, I think, not. I think Wait, I'm not okay, going to no. say divorce? this is worse than divorce. I mean, worse I, 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 so no, guys, I don't count myself as a red pill YouTuber per se, but it's clips like these that absolutely piss me off. Cheating is bad, but so is abuse. And you have to say these kind of things or else you just seem like an idiot. And the other dude is trying to bring up religion as well, trying to make it seem like it's more logical of a reason. But guys, both are bad. Don't abuse and don't cheat. Why can't you just clearly say that? You date a girl that has an OnlyFans. Hell no. Me or 5K? A night with me or 5K? I'm taking that 5K respect. <laughs> Yo, who the hell isn't taking 5k? Honestly, why is she even comparing herself to 5k? Let's bring it down to like $100. I'm still taking the $100. Hey, hey, what do you do for work? I sell my body at the line. What? Yeah, I wanted to ask you. Yeah. How much money do you make? <laughs> like, I, I don't, I don't want to seem like a, you know, interested in like money and stuff, but I just want to come out from the get-go to tell you like, I think, I'm not a gold digger or anything, but I just don't go out with gold boys. I so, think I, I made good enough. To, and know. I know you just took me to Applebee's, like, I get it, maybe you don't want to take me to the most fanciest place, like on the first date, but... Never again are you gonna take oh, me well, here. Next time, next time we can go somewhere else. Like, apple beans is not acceptable. I, I am not. I'm high We're end. just getting to know each other. You're not even my girl. Well, yeah, but about? this is dating to marry, right? <laughs> well, who knows? And if I date, it's not to waste my time, so I'm not gonna be going out and going to you know, cheap restaurants. I'm not a gold digger or anything, but I just don't go out with broke boys. That's exactly what she said. Don't get me wrong, women are allowed to have their own preferences when it comes to how much a man makes. I, I think it's somewhat logical. I mean, nobody wants to date a broke guy, I get it. But making it abundantly clear like this, it makes it only seem like you're only after money. You get to know the guy, you get to see if you like him, if he has a connection, and then money comes after. The fact that you're putting money on the top of a pedestal before personality or characteristics or hobbies shows a lot about you. You just, you're just, that's a gold digger. This is what she's doing to my car, and I got this officer allowing it, and this officer right here allowing her to. Correct. Man, come on, yeah, dude. Okay. This is. She came out with a knife right in front of y'all. Okay, well. Sir, don't. You came up here with an attitude, too. Don't. This is out. This is out of line, dude. She really just said that, making it seem like everybody's just gonna agree with her? How does popping a tire solve that problem? It, it doesn't. I don't understand this logic. You popping a tire is making everything worse. And you guys are gonna see right now that the cop is actually agreeing with the man on this. And he, I guess you get to find out why the cops really can't do anything. Well, I ain't been here 30 minutes. I ain't been here 30 minutes. Can I talk to you in here so he can deal with her? You're welcome. This, this, is, You're welcome. this is absurd. It is. But unfortunately, she is damaging and her own property. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I cannot. I'm not gonna. Same same thing. I wouldn't do to you, as you heard me talking about. I'm not gonna remove your child from from doing all this because I'm holding my daughter. This is what I. At the end of the day, you just gotta marry the right person because women like this definitely do exist, where they're just fueled by only emotion and are only doing things to piss you off and not really trying to fix the situation. Do you think popping that tire helps his daughter out? Helps him out? Helps her out? It doesn't. It just pisses him off trying to get under his nerves, and she clearly doesn't care for the consequences. She came over here and she showed us love, so it's only right that we pick her up the same way she lifted us up. Woo! Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on, keep it going, keep it going. Keep, keep, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. No, 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 don't do that, don't do that. Don't do that. Lean forward, lean forward. Watch this, watch this, watch this. I call this the Supergirl curl. I'm sorry, but I just hate the way she's laughing right now. A normal woman would actually have boundaries being like, yo, don't touch me, don't put your hands on me. That's what we had back in the day, you know? But now it's just like any man can grab you and just literally lift you in the air in front of your husband, by the way, because her husband's watching. And you're just going to giggle it off, laugh it off, and making it seem like you're actually having a pretty good time. 
Since she's Supergirl, I gotta give her the curls. Lay, 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 lay straight, lay straight. Body straight, body straight. Yeah! Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. That's how we do that. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Kiss her. Yeah. Ah! Come on. Come on. Reps. Reps. One. Come on. Two. Come on. Three. Come on. Four. Come on. Five. Come on. Six. Come on. Seven. Come on. Eight. Come on. Nine. Ten. Woo! One. Two. Three. Reps. Reps. Come on, you don't him. Let's <laughs> Look at her man trying to intervene saying, yo, enough is enough. He even put his arm in the way between them and he's just trying to dab him up, trying to laugh it off, making it seem like it's just guys trying to have fun. You're not. You just disrespected someone's wife, violated them, to be honest. And you're also disrespecting the man, belittling him. And regarding the wife, she needs to get divorced. I'm sorry. What should a man spend on a wedding ring? Oh, I think a lot. She deserves it. Over 10 grand. I mean, yeah, I think it should be a decent amount of a one-year salary, I believe, yeah. is, is the typical. Like a three-carat. Yeah. You think you could tell the difference between a hundred thousand diamond and a thousand dollar diamond? Of course, yeah. By looks? Honestly, yes. I don't know. I want yours to be over oh, 10k. Like real, yeah. Of course you Mine better. So obviously he's making the argument that you can't really tell the difference between the size of a diamond and how much it actually costs. And it's a pretty valuable argument because a woman at the end of the day doesn't care how it looks. She just wants to know how much it's worth. Apparently going for a run together is good for your marriage, but it just annoys me. It always takes twice as long. She's so slow. Come on. How many states make up the United States? 50. You know what the capital is? Of? The United States. Harrisburg. Oh, is there a capital in the U.S.? You tell me. No. Do you know what century we're in? <laughs> no. How many make up one dozen? Wait, what? How many make up one dozen? How many make up one dozen? How many what? Like how many eggs are in one dozen? Ten. I thought adding a little funny clip right there going to show off our American education system and how it failed us all, really. Somebody asked me recently, what's the difference between dating in your 20s and dating in your 30s? The difference is that in your 20s, you date. In your 30s, you don't. The issue is I want a man that's tall, sexy, kind, successful, super talented and driven, playful, has a good like community of friends and family. Did I say sexy and tall? You're probably thinking, why would that be an issue? But I ask you, why would that person be single if they are not a menace to society? That person is already married. What I described does not exist. Do you see the issue on that? She is 100% correct. So she is saying that she has these high standards for men. However, they don't exist anymore because they're most likely married. And well, guys, they are. These high-valued men that are over six feet making a ton of money that are good looking, that women are waiting for, are already taken. And I'm glad she honestly realized that because majority of women do not. Porn reg regularly. I wouldn't love for my boyfriend to be watching it all the time. So like, that's so hypocritical. It is. That's what. That's why I'm saying it's <laughs> controversial. Like obviously, I wouldn't want him to like watch it all the time. But like you literally make the material that I know, other that's girls' boys exactly, watch. and that's why I'm saying this is an unpopular take. This is controversial. You know, so this is how I feel though. So, like I love double standard. So she's fine making adult content herself, but when her man watches adult content, it's it's a bad thing. Why is it a bad thing? Oh, because you know it's bad for people and it's harmful. Yet you still do it. Thank you for just exploiting yourself completely. Step on to your feet. <laughs> your woman and this guy tells me. Oh, I'm not interested in talking to you because of your size. Good job, my brother. We rocking with you. I was like, it's okay, honey. You obviously don't have the right tools for the job anyway, so I'll just go find somebody with better equipment that can handle it. Well, this is a 53 cubic yard rock bucket. I said this last time and I actually always say this. It's perfectly fine to make fun of a man's height, but the moment you bring up a woman's weight, it's literally hell on earth. Are you a Pisces? What are you? Oh, don't tell me you just guessed that. Are you Pisces? Yes. <laughs> did you ever cheat on me? If not, did you ever come close? Definitely came close a few times. Oh, what'd you do? 
<laughs> That's how you know she doesn't give a shit. I don't f***ing care. You know that I cheated on you, so yeah, no, like... <laughs> This guy is getting absolutely violated by his ex. He got violated during the relationship and he's still letting it happen. I'm not sure why he appeared on the show and he's not defending himself. This is so stupid. I guess this is what happens. You give somebody the world, take care of their child, provide for them. Look, look at that little girl. That little girl has no idea what's going on. She had a fatherly figure ready to take care of her, trying to take care of her, starting a business, trying to be the best version that I can be for her. And she has the audacity to go out there, cheat on me, and make me look like a ass. What a waste of nine and a half months, but I ain't letting that shit get to me. It's time to stack up and make millions, bro. Just get money. I don't mean to hate on single moms, obviously, but this does tend to happen quite often. Where a single mother will have it really good, but cheat on her man, and then lose any possibility of her ever having a guy that's gonna pay for her bills and taking care of her kid. Good luck trying to find another guy like that, to be honest, because it's gonna be super hard. So I'm gonna just the elephant in the room and say that was probably a guy as well that was talking back to the guy on the phone. But regardless about the video, he is literally holding the phone and saying, please leave me alone where you can just hang up. At that point, I feel like they're purposely trying to make the person on the phone mad. However, the person on the phone is absolutely insane and there's literally no excuse to act like that ever. We did go to school with each other. Word of my mother. You the same height as me. Yo, shut up. <laughs> We are though. <laughs> how, how tall are you? I'm five nine. Oh, so you didn't grow since high school. Guess how tall I am. How tall are you? I'm six feet. Oh wow. <laughs> In high school, you was taller than me. Mm-hmm. Be honest. In high school, you think I was you think you think I was a weirdo in high school? No, you like, was you was the same. Stop the cap. <laughs> you think I was cute in high school? Yeah, a little. You're lying! She told I mean she told me I was ugly in high school. Because we used to be goofing she around. Told me I was ugly. And you played with me in high school. Now you got the nerve five years later to tell me that you thought I was cute. There's so many moments like this where people just peak after high school and then, you know, they start getting the attention that they never got in high school. This is probably like 99% of the time, usually for men, because I remember myself in high school when I was 18, I looked like I was 15, 14. And then it only becomes when you're like 24, 25, you start seeing their big changes. Six for the rest of your life or kill your mom. <laughs> no sex. You sure? Positive. What took you so long to answer? My mom just passed, so. <laughs> what? In February, so. Damn. Poor guy probably answered the question wrong. Don't get me wrong, I feel bad that his mom died. But like, I don't think he realized what he said. Oh, flirty friend clocking into the bar to get us Come on now, dog. If you're still buying women drinks and still going out to the club and bars and just, you know, blatantly spending your money, hoping that they'll somehow give you extra attention, you're an idiot in my opinion. It never works out. And they're usually just trying to play you just like this, to be honest. If you're afraid to court me or take me out on a $300 date. Get the French toast out of here. Because 
you feel like that's gonna make you seem like you're tap dancing for me, then just leave me alone. Three hundred dollars for a day is absolutely insane. She is so full of herself, you could just tell. I don't think anybody would ever spend that much money on a date, especially a first one with her. Your body count? Twenty plus. Yeah, I just don't know all of them. When's the last time you had? A week ago. A week? Was that like a boyfriend or? I don't know. He bought me this bag though. What do you look for in a guy? I used to date for personality, but now I'm dating for money because you dudes be having the worst personality ever. Yeah, I'm a hold of. I don't care. Here she is saying you dudes be having the worst personalities ever and she just wants to use men for money. Yet yeah, then she just says that at the end of the clip, which pretty much proves it's you the entire time. How are you going to call us having a horrible personality when you just exposed yourself? Come on now. On a date, I told a guy I had an oven and he walked out. Later that night, he subscribed and sent the photos to my mom. Good for him. I would have done the exact same thing, to be honest. I'm a man. I'm not affected by abortion. I shouldn't have an opinion on it. Pretty much. Are you affected in any way by the Holocaust? No, I just not personally, I'm not Jewish. Do you think the Holocaust is bad? I do. Yeah. So you have an opinion on something that doesn't directly affect you, right? Gotcha. Now you guys can have your own opinions about abortion. I'm not showing this clip for that reason. I'm just showing the clip because this girl got roasted. We've seen time and time again that women always say, oh, a man can't tell me what to do. He's not a woman. He can't tell what women can do. They have no say in the matter. But here's a perfect example that sometimes if we know something is bad, we're still going to preach up about it. I wouldn't just have blocked the account. I would have probably found who her boyfriend was and just sent her that TikTok, even though he could probably see it himself. It's absolutely disgusting and so sad. You, you ain't about me for Father's Day, though. That's crazy as hell. I waited all day. You ain't about me nothing for Father's Day. Hold on. I thought you was playing. You did. Yeah, I'm dead ass. Serious. How you ain't gonna wow. buy me nothing for Father's Day? But you bought your dad something for Father's Day? I didn't even think you were serious for real. Yes, I bought my daddy something for Father's Day. That's my dad. But I'm your I... man. We got kids together. Why you ain't gonna buy me nothing for Father's Day, though? That's crazy. You really tripping about me not buying you nothing for Father's yeah, Day. Yeah, like, I'm done with you. Like, you can get the f*** on him. Wait, you done? Way. That's yeah. No, that's I'm going. Like, you dead ass, man. I didn't give you I waited day. all day. I mean, nothing for Father's Day. That's I didn't know I had to get you for Father's Day. You're not my dad. You're not my dad. Listen, listen. Here. Like you're listen. being weird as hell. Like I didn't we know got, you gave us. We got if, six kids together. Okay. I'm a good ass father. They got you something I for Father's Day, car. didn't they? No, you supposed to give me something. No, what the? Yeah, she is completely wrong in that matter. We always see on social media fathers also getting mothers Mother's Day gifts when it's Mother's Day. So she clearly just has no excuse on the matter. I'm not even sure why she's recording when she's exposing herself. Literally, he's not overreacting. And to be honest, I would probably end the relationship because of that. I know they have a kid and such, but being with her for six years and her not showing you any respect still is absolutely insane. I'm gonna blow your tire off. How about that? Period. And I Period. That's all you gonna hear. Okay. You trying to catch my voice? You trying to catch so, so, is, so is you gonna give me my? Is you gonna give me back food, or I gotta go send my gay brother? Cause if I come to get you, it's over. You coming with me? You coming with me if I come get you? So the the, 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 the choice is yours, honey, Snooch. I'm gonna tell you this one more time. You gonna pay for this tire, or you gonna pay for this ass whooping, or you gonna come with me? You feel me? Like. Listen, you will get, listen, listen, I will, I will baby oil you down. You won't have nothing to worry about. You feel me? I know, ain't nobody laughing. He just over here having a panic attack because he want to whoop your ass. I'm trying to calm him down, like, below zero. To be honest, if I was on the other side of the phone call, I would not know how to act. This guy is probably turning red on the other side of the phone call. It's super funny. Don't get me wrong. Like, I'm dying laughing watching the clip. But I'm just amazed about how well this idea actually works. This is a great way to threaten somebody. I'm not joking. Mike, Mike, my mic. Stop playing with me. Like, what? What you want? You gonna get this tire fixed, or you gonna come home with me? So you don't remember blowing my bitch tire on 60th and Good Hope? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So like I said, either give me my money back in my, Period. or I'm gonna send my gay brother because he think you real cute. And I'm gonna come and get you. I'm telling you, listen, my gay brother don't play when he come his assholes and elbows. And you laughing, so you must like what you hear, honey snooch. I don't, I don't like, I, I'm strictly. So what you stuttering for? You, you thinking about how, what, what you want to do? 
I don't know if that guy is joking. I don't know if that's just like an act or a personality trait, or maybe he's just actually gay. But regardless, that was phenomenal. The best, best video I've seen. Pick me up, or are you going to get me an Uber? And he said, I'm going to make my way there. You should do the same. And because of that, she didn't want to go on a date with him. I'll make my way there. Oh, my God. I'll make my way there. What do you think about her asking that? I wouldn't ask. I wouldn't ask. No. I, I would be shy. To I wouldn't ask. ask. I, mean, I think oh, it's. Ask, ask, can ask, you ask, get ask, me a cab? Is I just think it's just so entitled. Yeah. 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 After, yeah. After, yeah. after the night out, the date, then it would be nice if he put you in an Uber yeah. and send mm. you home because it's late. But going to a restaurant, no. No, I wouldn't tell. I'll make my way there. Because making your way is showing that you're interested. Really and truly, <laughs> if this is like the man of your dreams, right, you're really interested in this guy. No, that's not so true. You wouldn't even ask, are you no, going to no, book no. me an Uber? Yeah. Are you going to pick me up? You'd be running there. <laughs> you know, I've been having a question wondering, were always women like this or is just like the current modern day women? And this just proves that's only modern day women that are absolutely delusional and insane that have these high expectations that just don't make any sense. If you want to have true love, put in some effort as well. Don't be expecting the man to do everything for you. And thankfully, these women said it perfectly. I only want you for the money and the clothes and for the bills. That's it. If you ain't getting my hair done, if you ain't getting my nails done, if you ain't doing nothing for me, then I don't need you here. It's not 50-50. It's not 80-20. It's 100% to zero. She's absolutely horrible and disgusting for saying that. I do hope she ends up single the rest of her life because she doesn't deserve a man. Once again, women are not chasing men for, I guess, love anymore. They're chasing them for things that they can be provided for. And we're not your father in this matter. I do hope the video goes viral and nobody ever dates her. I'm being so serious. But that's it for you guys. Watch the next one. Take care. Peace.